Hey guys, we all know what the input telemetry overlay does in RaceLab, right? To put it in short, it records your throttle and brake inputs and then it's visualizing it, as you can see on the application next to me. With the new update we just introduced in RaceLab, you will be able to compare your inputs from your fastest lap time. And not just that, but you will be able to see the inputs of your friend's best lap time. So let's have a deep dive about this feature, how you can turn on, how you can see the difference and what exactly it does for you. Have a look. Let's have a look at this awesome feature. You need to navigate to the input telemetry overlay and then there is a new tab called comparison. This is the comparison lines that you will be able to turn on to compare your current lap to your fastest lap. So if you click on it, you'll see that everything by default is turned off. Let's turn on the throttle and the brakes. You won't see any difference in the preview, but you will see a difference in the example that we're going to represent. And then you have option about what do you want to be the comparison B. If you think about it, the lap time comparison could be against your last lap, against your best lap. It's almost like a delta bar in iRacing that you can select what should be the reference for your comparison. Now we also have this reference, but in this input overlay telemetry. So by default, the reference is a personal best lap time, which meaning that whatever was the best lap time for you in that track with the car, it will remember it. And then if you turn on these two throttle and brake inputs, you will see the comparison in it, which we're going to see in a minute. So let's just see what other things we have in the comparison reference. If I click on this drop down, you will see that we can have a personal last, personal best as a comparison reference. And for me, what's the best thing here is best of friend, which means that you will see the input telemetries of your friend if he did a better lap time than you did. And this is huge because you guys can learn from each other while you are driving on the track. If you decide to practice on the track, you can just do many, many laps together and you will always see whoever did the fastest lap time, you will always see his inputs and you can learn from it. And when I'm saying you can practice and learn from each other, if you join to the same session in iRacing, as soon as some one of your friend is setting a better lap time than any of you has, this input telemetry will update immediately and show the newest best lap time amongst your friend. So if friend A did a lap time, you will see it immediately. And if friend B did a better lap time, you will get the update immediately within the session and you don't need to do anything about it. So it could also be a sort of, a sort of a competitive game that you can play in a practice session that you just turn this on and you going lap by lap and you always see on this input telemetry which one of your friend did the best lap time. It might be even you, so then you will see yourself there and all your friends will see you and your lap time and your input telemetry there. I think it's a lot of fun. I can't wait to try and play it with my friends and happened me many, many times when I was playing with my friends, practicing for sea brewing or practicing for Bathurst, anything. Many, many times I just did not know where I'm losing time. I didn't know what I'm doing differently. And now with this feature, it's going to be super clear what you're doing differently. We're going to see it in the demo, but it's extremely helpful. Now <laughs> let's have a look at a demo. I'll have a look at an example. I asked a couple of guys to join me to this session and we did a couple of laps. I added these guys as friends. They added me as friends so we can see each other's telemetry and it was very useful because I saw what I was doing differently. And at the end, Yannick Lawrence did a really fast lap compared to what I could do on the track. He has almost 5k I rating. And what happened is I quickly realized what I'm doing differently. And then I was getting faster and faster in each lap. I'm going to show you one lap and you will see what I mean by learning a lot from this comparison. 
So let's have this video started. First of all, what you can see here on the input telemetry is two different things. One is that I see who did a uh, fastest lap time that I'm comparing myself against to, and you also see his lap time. So I know that the comparison is going to be based on, on uh, this person with this lap time. Let's have a look. As we come into turn one, Let's stop it right here. As you can see, what we can learn from this is that my brake input was significantly lower than his at the initial braking. So he was braking 100% before the first turn, which is very useful because now I know I can brake 100%. I didn't know I could do that. And then he's, he's kind of going down on the brake in the same way but then what I can also see is that he's coming back on the throttle so, so much earlier that he must gain a lot of track time here. And what's awesome in this is that you don't just have a telemetry. If you think about regular telemetry, comparing your lap time against someone else's lap time, you sometimes could lose the context about very exactly that on the track and how exactly that looks um, in in sense of breaking points, in sense of um, where it exactly on the track. And with this, you can just save your replay. You can come back and analyze your session with actually seeing the real track in front of you. So I think it's really useful. Even if you don't do that, even if you're just going on a track, and practicing over and over again, lap by lap, you will see immediately what you're doing differently. So all you do is you brake, you're coming out of turn, you press the throttle, and then while you're in the straight, you have a glimpse of the input telemetry, and you will see that, oh, my red braking bar is a lot lower than his. So let's try that next lap. And this is the sort of concept of, of this live telemetry comparison that you don't have to analyze every single bit of details you can just focus on one thing and then you can improve on that and then once you get better at that then you can get the next challenge then you can get the next thing you want to improve talking about throttle pickup so once you mastered the braking compared to the best lap time of one of your friend did then you can move on to okay let's pick up the throttle at the same time or even a bit earlier so you can get a more lap time out of it and this could be extremely useful for teams for example who are practicing many hours and hours and hours on the track and for a team it's important that every team member will be as good as everyone in the team so with this way you don't have to leave the track you can just go lap by lap and practice and practice and improve on based on the fastest lap time of your friend. Um, so let's have a look at the whole lap and let's try to get some learning from it. I'm not going to talk anything. I just like you to watch and decide whether it's useful or not. I did lose that there. This could be also very useful for coaches or if you are learning from a coach, you just ask him to add you as a friend. Just do one fast lap on this track with this car and there you go, you can actually compare yourself to him, giving it a lot of advantage for your learning. It's, it's giving you a lot of understanding of what you really need to do 
compared to your coach, for example. So again, the possibilities with this, I think it's, it's a lot of different things maybe I don't even think about. So I think everything is a lot more clearer to what this thing does. Again, just to summarizing is you don't have to actually share your input telemetry or use any other of your friends input telemetry as a comparison, but you can turn it on or off. And then you can either choose to learn from yourself, from your best lap time or last lap time, or from one of your friends. But super important, you can only see your friend's input telemetry if you click on this link and add him as a friend to this list. If I do a lap on any track, then all these guys will be able to see what I did. Now, if I don't want that, I just simply remove it. The bottom line is that the comparison is very restrictive. We don't just give telemetry out for everyone, right? But we have to do something that restricts people to see other people's lap times and, and input telemetries. So you really have to ask your friend to add you as a friend in race lab because that's the only way you can see his telemetry. So if you have a team of five, you need to ask all of these five people to add you as a friend, and then you can see there's telemetry. And again, if you wanna share your telemetry with someone else, you need to add him as a friend. Simple as that. So that's all about it for now. We're gonna add some couple of updates to this input telemetry later on, but I just wanted to give a short video about this feature because I think it's awesome and I think people should know about this. People should try and use it. And if you have any inputs about this, please comment in the comment section below. I would really love to hear your feedback because this is something I think very unique and uh, I'm really excited to hear what you all guys think. I hope it's going to be super useful for team events and for just friends playing with each other. And all I need to do is just practice. I don't have to get out of the car and analyzing my lines and throttle and brake pickups. All I need to do is just play. And simple as that. It cannot be more fun than that, right? I'm adding at the end of this video a live footage from my Twitch and you can see how it works, why you are driving on the track you will see how we get all these input telemetries, how it was changing between us when we were lapping on this track and just overall how it feels and how much fun was it. Have fun looking at it and see you guys later. So this is a battle then guys. Let's see who can uh, set the best lap. Rather just hit the track and practice and practice and practice. and. Uh, yeah, oftentimes I found that I'm just not, I'm just not keen to. There you go, it works. I see his telemetry. Look at that. <laughs> How cool is that? Oh wow, he takes this completely different. Awesome. What I also want to do is um, a bit of a delta between that lap, that comparison lap and your current so that you see where you're getting better and where you're getting worse compared to that. But how cool is that? It just works out of the box. Now 22.7 that's a little bit fast. Don't know if, if don't know if I can beat that. <laughs> Please be better. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Did you guys receive the new uh, <clears throat> lap time? Yep. Yep, I got it now. Yes! <laughs> Works! Oof. I learned a lot. Yes, uh, I, did. I learned a lot from your telemetry, actually. It's cool. It's really cool. I love this comparison stuff, it's just so cool.
I still don't understand how can he pick up the throttle that early there. But I'll try to match that. And it's so good that you would... <laughs> oh yeah, that's a good idea. The, you know, it's so cool that you don't have to get out of the game, uh, load the VRS and uh, check the lines and everything. You just have a quick look at it and then you note yourself, ah, oh, I need to pick up the throttle earlier there. You know, that's all I need. I don't care about the super detail, fine details. I just care about, you know, what I'm doing differently. What I might need to change to be faster. Yeah, uh, so it's really hard to hear with the engine sound. You don't really drive this car, do you? No, I've only driven this car once. I usually drive the GD3s. Okay. That might be even easier to compare because the inputs are not so harsh. Yeah. There, it's a bit smoother. Look at that, I'm matching completely my previous telemetry. Yeah, it's really helpful. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah. It will be so easy to know what you're doing differently compared to your friend. Yeah, it's good. It's, it's good to, um, to learn as well from it. 21.3 he did. Holy crap, I just did 21.5. Let's see what he did. He was breaking harder. Oh, I messed up. Uh oh. Yeah. Oh. You know, I think if you put the uh, wheel thing there, it will be really messy and. Uh, yeah, it would be hard to see what's going on. I think two lines yeah. to compare is the max you should do. Yeah, for sure. It'd be um, confusing to look at. Oh my god, he just did a better lap time. 20.7. Go left. <laughs> he's, he's quick. He's He's, He's crushing us. Go right. He's definitely That's crushing me. <laughs> my optimal is like four seconds faster than my uh, actual yeah. lap time. When's the input to elementary comparison releasing? I want to release it today, but I also need to do a video about it. Oh yeah, true. <clears throat> Roughly the same. He breaks harder. Guys, this is all about the new feature, the comparison feature of the input telemetry. Thank you very much for watching, like the video if you think it's useful and subscribe if you haven't. I see a lot of you guys watching these videos without subscribing, you guys are missing out a lot of features coming up in the future. Thank you for watching and see you next time.